I'll smack your mama for some ribs. Woo. Maybe barbershop should be open. <laughs> Maybe I told him I'll call you. Say, yo, thumbs up if we get. No. If we get a hundred thumbs up. No. Can I cut your hair? No. Hello, beautiful people of YouTube land. I am Elite, also known as Elite the Phoenix. Welcome to my channel, The Phoenix Lifestyle. Today we have my husband, Steven. Hey, how you doing? And we are doing a seafood boil to celebrate 200 subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to eat, babe? Yep. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I am. Um, so we have some snow crab legs, some shrimp, some eggs, and some corn. And I have some cucumbers, but that's it. And then we're so you're not going to share the cucumbers? Would you like to have some? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we both have Canada Dry. Bold. Bold. Extra. So. Bold. I'm going to pour that first. But other than that, we're just going to dig in. Steven has a meeting um, to go to because he's working from home right now. So he may have to dip out a little bit early, but he will stay as See, long as possible. I wouldn't wear this to work, but this is perfect work from home attire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Cheers. Salud. Okay. This is like massive. Your weapon? Thank you, dear. I'm gonna cucumber first. Uh, I'm gonna start with the, the scrams. Mm. You sure you don't want a cucumber? Yeah. It's well seasoned. Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna start with corn. And I did it in a tom yum kind of sauce, so. We'll see. So it's like a rich and tangy or a spicy? I feel like it could be richer. So this is my first time trying it. So, but mm. corn was good. Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah, I could go with this. All right. So we're going to do a few questions, but we're going to eat a little first. This corn is so fresh and juicy. Can you eat over this, babe? I'll move this. I can't really see you. I'm going to put this down. That's good. That's a bad spot. It's on there. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. From the sound effects, I'm assuming it tastes good. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. The pickles are good. I marinated. Um, mm -hmm. Or brine the pick on um, the cucumbers in the same brine that came with the pickles I got from Whole Foods, and it's so good. What? Look for somewhere, but the grab. We'll oh. break it down. Mm -hmm. What's this dip right here? That's just some of the sauce left in the pot. Bet. How was the shrimp? Was it okay? Mm hmm Oh, some sauce got inside. Okay. I was hoping like it would cook into it. Alright. Ow! Oh, alright, well. Make sure you show the camera like once or twice. Mm. Sure. Oh, just when that bites good. I'm so right. I'm a little rusty. Oh my goodness. There we go. Come on, come on. We can do this. Oh, this was nice meeting. I would have shown the camera, but you know, I just got to dig this. Yeah, I like I didn't really get that much either. Mm. Then we, after that, we need to do a thumbnail. I forgot. Mm. Okay. Want to do one right now? Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep this bit. Ah! Oh. Just like grab one of these. Hold it up. I'll put these coins over here. We actually put some snacks on it. You ready? What am I doing? Take the thumbnail. Yeah, <laughs> what, what am I said? doing? Hold one of you up. All right. <laughs> you can see your face. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so awkward. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's you the best to, we're gonna get. <laughs> you have to add the sound effects, otherwise it, it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Okay, babe. Oh, it's not bad, but it can be better. Like the sauce. Mm -hmm. I need to figure out what to add to it. It could be thicker and richer. Right. A little richness to it. It's not so different. These are prawns. Prawns are meatier. Okay. That's pretty thick. Like a like versus lobster. the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think I prefer the shrimp. I like these. They're nice and thick. Mm, that's why I don't like lobster that much. Oh yeah. It's so damn thick. It's just like I'm eating steak. It kind of right. It's, it's like, like the steak of the seafood. It's so thick, you know. There's no need. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Mm. Okay, so I had a few questions for us. All right. So what you got? I'm gonna ask some questions, and you're gonna guess what the answer is for me. Okay. And we'll see if you're right, and then I'll guess the answer for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is not a challenge. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, so what's my weirdest habit? Let me think what I would say my weirdest habit is. Wait, what's your weirdest habit? Uh-huh. If it's a weird habit, you wouldn't suspect that it's weird because you do it constantly. Where I can say, I can be objective towards myself. Excuse me. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> I didn't mean, it was air, bro! <laughs> okay. <laughs> like so my mother. <laughs> calm down on the um, ginger ale, all right? <laughs> okay. All right. Or just answer it. Okay, fine. I won't guess it. What What do you think my weirdest habit is? What is your weirdest habit? Mm -hmm. I have to think. So as I think, I'll, I'll crack open this crab. Uh, hmm. There we go. Is it just weirdest habit or a most annoying habit? Okay, say that one. What's my most annoying? Oh gosh, what? You have a tendency. <laughs> oh gosh, what? To uh, use something. <laughs> this is a piece I should have known you would say that. <laughs> to use something and then not put it back <laughs> in the location in which you found it when you wanted to use it. Lies. Meaning, the next time you want to use that same thing, <laughs> you're asking me, Steven, where is such and such? <laughs> and I say, well, where'd you last use it? <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> one of your weirdest habits. Most just, annoying. Just eh, annoying. I think that's weird. That's not weird. People it's do just that. Just weird to me. <laughs> You're bizarre. <laughs> Can I have a napkin, please? Thank you, love. Okay. Your most annoying habit. If you want to hear, I already had it ready. Okay. So Stephen is a very organized individual. He likes things in order. He's a Virgo. He's very structured. Borderline type A. However, he has relaxed a little bit. And I would say is most annoying thing he does is when he goes to organize something and without checking with the other party in the home if something is still of use, he will purge it and throw it away without even blinking an eye. Like yesterday, not yesterday, last week. Sometimes he went through the spice rack, right? There's a certain all-purpose rice seasoning that I use on just about everything. And it's so awesome because you only need a few shakes of it so it lasts a while. I came to the kitchen and the bottle is empty by the sink. Why did you throw that away? Because we had another one. Where is it? Right in the slice rack. That's that same brand. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you sure? I, Why would you throw it out though? That means we have extra. No, I poured the excess into the previous <laughs> and then I, pour, I took the other thing out because you said, I want to make candles. So. We can make candles with that little container. Look at that. Stephen G to the rescue. You're welcome. Well, that's not the only thing. <laughs> you try to come back. No, I'm right to it. But, yeah, you I purge. That. I purge. And you purge everything. And sometimes you purge stuff that doesn't need to be purged. Sometimes, but most of the time, 
It's things that haven't been used in six lot. months. Yes. If it haven't been used in six months. How do you know though? You don't always know, babe, and you just throw it out because you're in the mood. Sometimes I do be in the mood. <laughs> Anything could go. Hey. I'm gonna throw himself out by accident. <laughs> 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 Don't fart on my jokes. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me look at the next question. What is your what would you, what do you think is my dream country to visit? Hmm. Your dream your dream country. Mm -hmm. Not like we talk about it all the time, so you can guess. Yeah, no, uh, we never talk about it. Like my most favorite place, right? I don't think we've ever been like, what's your most favorite place to go that you want to go? There are a few places. Mm -hmm. Do, is, is, this a, is this a list or is this a one shot? No, you can give a list. Okay. So, you seem to want to go to areas in warmer climates. So, one of those areas being Jamaica, Hawaii. I wouldn't necessarily put these on my list, though. All right. Well, the only area that we've ever talked about actually visiting is Japan. I would love to visit Japan. I think you would love to visit Japan. But maybe more so Asian Asian countries so you could try out their food because, you know, you're greedy. <laughs> yeah. So I know for you for a fact it's Japan. I would love to visit Japan too and South Korea. Um, but I would also want to go somewhere like Singapore. Hmm. That would be cool. And Vietnam. Those are some countries I would really love to visit one day. Okay. Well, you win this round. Okay. And then on a more modest level, so like for colder weather, I would definitely still want to visit like um, France and Spain. Mm -hmm. And then definitely, ooh, you know, we have to go to Greece. It's beautiful. You, you saw that on Instagram or something? <laughs> yes, but also I've known about like Mykonos and all those places like forever. It's so absolutely beautiful there. Okay. I know a few people have gone to like Yacht Week a couple years, so I've seen that on Instagram. It looks like fun. I don't need to go to Yacht Week. I would just love to bathe in the Grecian waters. waters. Okay. What is my favorite food? Your favorite food? Or type of food, too. I mean, you just eat anything. Uh, so <laughs> what? I'm not like a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ribs. Well, I'll smack your mama for some ribs. Woo! Um, I love ribs. <laughs> club. Mm -hmm. I love shifu. And random sorts of Asian dishes. <laughs> well, like you were Asian in your past life or something. Well, I've got Southeast Asia and East Asia, just general East Asia in my DNA. Oh, me too. Um, so I have approximately 0.1%. I've got like a year 4%. Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am like 0.8 or 0.9% Native American. This land was my land. Yes. Steven, excuse me. I was still. You're right. Why did you look at me like gross before you looked at me to see if I was okay? I knew you were okay. Marriage, ladies and gentlemen. That, no, that, you looked at me like ill, B. Get that, out of here. That didn't sound like a death act. That how do like, you know? I know what they sound like. How many, this is how many people you let die in front of you. <laughs> like, oh, I, I guess that should have helped. <laughs> Anyways, Steven loves Chinese food. Like the hood Chinese food. Mm. Not that like sticky actual. Sticky chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, sticky like chicken, Chinese pork fried I mean, I like Chinese food as well. I'm just messing. He just likes like, like Szechuan. What is it? Szechuan chicken? We actually have a Szechuan spicy sauce in the pantry. Szechuan. Put with chicken. It's, it's Szechuan. It's not Szechuan. Szechuan? Szechuan. 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 Mm. Do you even know what you just said? <laughs> I said thank you. They say yeah. it all the time at the Asian market. Got it. I was gonna say it today, but I don't wanna look stupid. No, nah, she was she was in another mood. I know. She didn't look like she wanted to talk. She couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear her. I was just like oh, really? I was doing the gestures like shit don't work. She like, don't work. I was like, eh, Sometimes okay. they just don't say anything because they don't speak English. Cause some one time like something wasn't ringing up. 
And I, she was ringing it and then she started talking to the person next to her. So I'm like, uh, what's happening? And she was like, no. <laughs> so she said to me, it was no, and then took the product away. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess I'm not getting that no today. Bye. You didn't say no bars. You just said no. <laughs> so it's like, okay, language barrier, whatever. Such is life. That's one of the beauties of living in America. Yeah, especially because like we have that Asian market. We can get so many foods. I, mean, I actually like that. Like that Asian market is quite diverse in terms of customers. Mm -hmm. Like when when we were able to be outside, we would see all types of people in that that market. You get a lot of uh, RISD and Brown students in there. So. Yeah. And yeah, like young couples, like young adult couples too. And then you get like the older like Haitian or Spanish people who like know the food is cheaper there. Mm -hmm. But Steven's mom is Haitian. Because they have really yeah. good fresh produce. So. That's the best part. Like the seafood is fresh, the vegetables are fresh, and it's at a reasonable price. Like we live down the street from Whole Foods and we have to split our grocery trip up sometimes because it's just not worth the money. Yeah. Plus the lines, the amount of people. Oh, it's like Whole Foods like the club. You can't do it, yeah. And we don't go to the club anymore for a reason. Check. There's a Starbucks near the Whole Foods. Yeah, that's where they all flock to. When the pandemic started, pandemic, um, <laughs> there was legit a line out of the parking lot into the main road to get a Starbucks coffee because you couldn't go. I'm like, go a little further ridiculous. down, there's Dunkin' Donuts. But I like Dunkin'. Everyone in high school used to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Oh. oh, you forgot. I also love Mexican food. Oh, yeah. Taco. Don't say <laughs> Taco. Taco, yo. Taco, yo. <laughs> taco, yo. <laughs> I love tacos. And I love, like, Latin American food in general. Like, the chicken, the stewed chicken. Ooh. So, she just eats anything and everything. Like, is there, is there any consistency here? <laughs> okay, that's one thing you can say about Elite. She's very eclectic. Oh, that's a good word to use. Thank you. Mm. This crab is so good. What I love about so we sometimes get like the stone crab. Well, we get that a lot, but stone crab. it's just so much work to open. That's what sucks about it. Yeah, I'm not about that work. If it wasn't so much work, we would eat it more because it's not bad. And Dungeness crab is good too, but still, again, it's like you got to work to get it open. And this, all you gotta do is snap it and that little piece come out. Oh, Watch, when we go, like, Steve and I still need to do like a king crab seafood boil, which is probably not gonna happen now because I can't find it. Well, when you have that, babe, you're not gonna really wanna go back. When you get like a nice dip. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine going back. To this, you won't go back to the stone crab. I don't wanna go back to stone crab right now. <laughs> <laughs> stone crab is trash. It's extra work to break into the crab. What do I look like? Shut up. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, making me want to take a nap after this. Mm. Y'all, thumbs up this video because Steven's in it. I'm trying to get him into more videos. I want us to do like a couple challenges. I'm going to get them. Uh huh. He did this one because he wanted to celebrate. Which are, is so awesome. Like, thank you to everyone who's like a new subscriber. And like a huge shout out to all the people who've been riding with me since like the earliest days of this. If you know, you know. That is refreshing. Mad work. I know, the ginger is so good that I could, I'm about to accidentally drink the whole thing too soon. See, I bought extras on Monday. I saw you bought like a box on top of the box we already had. Hey, you don't want to... You, you have to constantly prepare for the worst. No, I know, but we're also not going back to the grocery store for like two weeks. We just did our big grocery shopping between the Asian market and BJ's. Now we're back in. And we did laundry. We're good. Right, Bubba? Yes, ma'am. We did take a walk. Like, sometimes we'll take a walk, which is nice. But other than that, in like essential shopping trips, we are home to go. And we live in Rhode Island. And they just announced that the schools aren't going back for the rest of the year. So I'm curious to see what the work is going to do. I feel like we're going to stay shut down for a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. We're going to stay shut down. Rhode for Island's not playing. 
I respect it. It's but just, Rhode Island is better off compared to Massachusetts right now. That's why. Surprisingly so. It's because um, our what our governor locked it down. Mm -hmm. She locked it down as soon as she figured started seeing the rise in New York City and Massachusetts. And I respect that because Rhode Island's so small that if like a significant hand people handful of people get really sick, that's the whole state going under. Facts. We won't be able to leave the house at all. At all. So. What? Members, what do you call your people? Subscribers. Subscribers. What are your thoughts on this coronavirus in terms of, uh, what, what's today's day? 20, 24th. 24th? I think. So some states are starting to open up. Oh yeah, that's a good question. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah? And why? Like, do you feel like, so I understand some people are like, well, we need to work. At the expense of what is my answer? But what do you think? Do you think states should start opening up? Do you think more businesses should be able to open up? Maybe not outside. Like, people can't go to the park and have parties, but certain types of jobs should be more accessible. Maybe maybe barbershops should be open. <laughs> maybe. I told them I'll call you say, yo, thumbs up. If we get... No. You get a hundred thumbs up. No. Can I cut your hair? No. Damn, <laughs> please. Nah. I'm, I told them, just, do you want a one, bruh? I'll get you a one, and I fade you up really clippers? nicely. Yeah. I'll no. order from Amazon. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how many likes you get. <laughs> Please. I'd rather look like this than let you cut. <laughs> Hard pass. Please, let me cut your hair. Well, let me do your hair. Yeah. You don't know how to. That's a that, different. Yeah, yeah, you don't know how to. <laughs> that that yeah. thought in your head, right when I said, "Let me do your hair," that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, "Let me cut your hair." Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Definitely good on that. Whatever. Hey, what time is that? I don't want you to be late. I got time. That's my man. Got time for you. Aww. Yo, you got a piece of crab hanging out of your lip. <laughs> You're so fucking rude. <laughs> You're so rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have kissed me out like that. <laughs> Cold blooded. <laughs> So, yeah. so, so subscribers, I heard that if you take a, <clears throat> if you take a, a blow dryer <laughs> and you put it on the virus, it kills the virus. Who said that? <laughs> Who told you she was on TikTok? Nah, that was some dude. <laughs> a girl protester? Nah, some dude said it like in some type of Senate hearing. <laughs> that ass, he believed what himself. <laughs> what, was he talking about like household products to blow? What was nah, he saying? He was just like, you just keep yourself at that level. At that temperature. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I gotta look this up on YouTube. That's a dang shame. He believed himself too. It was hilarious. Was there any like uh, commotion in the background that he would make any noise? Nah, but it was just quiet. I know it's supposed to be quiet, but someone had to be like, <laughs> <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> All I say is that people understand what's happening with staying at home. It's not going to cure anything. We all can acknowledge that. All What it's doing is the most important thing is buying time. Period. But like, you know, since you're bought at home anyway, like... Watch our channel. Give us some conspiracy theories. Ooh, yes, I would love it. So, I didn't want to go into that because I don't want to sound like fairy godparents. <laughs> but, I do <laughs> You know that. I'm going to put the clip in so people understand I was just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying. Um, but yeah, if you have any theories, let us know. And if you have like links to stuff, post them below. I'll check it out. Because I'd be curious to hear what you guys think or just what you've seen. Maybe not what you think. Yeah, because nobody cares what you think. JK, JK. <laughs> I don't care. Don't do my subscribers <laughs> like that. Mmm... <laughs> It's so good. This takes me back to when we used to do our mega seafood boils. There was one summer, was it last summer we did it? We had so many seafood boils. It was, no. Was it last summer? Is that when your mom taught me? Well, Steven's mom had taught me how to clean, how to pick out, kill and clean fresh crab. No, only 2018. Mm. And when she taught me, See what I had. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. Mm. We was eating crab, all, like big boils with sausage, extra stuff in it. We was doing that like all the time. We would just literally, I would make a bunch of food. It would take me all morning. 
<laughs> then we find a movie and we would just spread out in the living room a big foldable table and we would just eat Bounce. for like two hours we would just eat seafood crazy man and we was professionals like these little ramekins they actually come from a butter warming kit <laughs> You put a little tea light underneath it and it keeps your butter warm. Like, we was not playing. Where's the butter at right now? Um, I didn't melt any butter. Bad. You it's know, we got like this way. mad butter in the fridge. It's a lot of unsalted butter. I put some butter in here, but. Unsalted butter is better than salted butter. Give me a poll. What's. Nah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make salted butter, babe? Huh? It's disgusting. How, how are you going to cook with salted butter? It's going to make your food extra salty. No, I like unsalted for cooking because then I can control the sauce. For sure. And then for like seafood dipping sauces, I like to do probably like um, like a two to 0.5 or a two to one ratio. I'd rather have two of like unsalted butter and one stick of um, salted butter. Because I'm gonna add so many other seasonings to it, I don't need like all the salt from the butter. What's the best part about, I'm saying butter a lot, but the best part about the butter is the savory like butter fattiness that it brings to a sauce or a mm. meal. That's sort of umame feel. Umame. You got any more questions, my dear? Um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, here's a nice one. What do you think I'm talented at? Like, give me one talent that you admire. Well, you're singing, of course, but... <laughs> Don't say what they mean. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. Um, well, talent that you have is your ability to have compassion for others. Like Aww. you're empathetic, 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 empathetic. Yeah, so you're def definitely empathetic. So you can definitely feel for other people. So when somebody's going through something, where I'll just be like, "Whoa!" What? You'll say something like, "Wow." They must feel this way, you know. This helps you put yourself in that other person's shoes. Right. That's 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 nice. And you're working on it. You've gotten better. Mm. Yeah, probably. No, you really have, babe. Stephen is one of the most generous people I know. He like comes off like um, a douchebag. Not really. You come off like an a-hole sometimes, babe. Just what you said about the people that could be feeling sad. <laughs> like oh. <laughs> <laughs> but. Then Steven behind the scenes will be like, well, what can I do to help them? And that's when I come in like, this could help them. Or like, maybe it's giving money or maybe it's giving like a product or something. And then Steven will make sure that happens. So he definitely is that guy. He just can't always see it from the outside. Which he's like the kind of person that when we have more money, will be like the angel giver, angel donors. Where he doesn't want his name to be known. He doesn't want any accolades or credit for it. Mm -hmm. He just wants the help. And I respect that about you. Um, but what I like about you... That I admire is that Steven is a very solutions oriented person he sees a problem and instead of like giving too much time to being frustrated that's a problem his immediate action is to figure out how to solve it Facts. And hey guys so I'm back um, my video card got full um, and then at the same time Steven had to leave for his meeting so He's off, but he enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here, babe. I love you. And if you guys want to see him in more videos or have any suggestions of like couples videos we can do, definitely leave, definitely leave that down below and um, a comment because um, he's totally going to do it. What else is he going to do? He's here with me all the time. I mean, besides work, but <laughs> so yeah, I think where it like paused was when I was saying like, let's see was very solutions oriented, which he is. Mm hmm. Ooh, these are juicy. Anyways, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to ask. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well wherever you are and whenever you're watching. Mm. I tell you, this is so good. <laughs> Did you see me just like splooge in my own face? Gross. What did I do? Man, I need a paper towel. I'll be right back. I need a paper towel. Okay, back. But yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Seriously. Mm. 
So good. We bought a decent amount of these too. Thank you for your sacrifice, Crab. To give us sustenance. I appreciate it. The weather today is like super dark and dreary. But just making like a conscious effort to stay positive despite it. Definitely dropped that on myself. Definitely got everything in there on myself. <laughs> okay. And so far so good. Like I definitely have things going on that I could choose to be like super depressed about. But like I'm not. Just like I said like a hundred times but what's the point of being stressed out? I've been working on consistently recognizing that I can only control what I can control and everything I can I need to let it live. And that just is what it is. On oh, period. There's nothing in there. So I invite you to adopt that idea as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Delicioso. Okay. At this point, this is looking like a great meal to save for later. Especially so Steven can eat some more. Because I know he's so hungry, but he had to go into his meeting. I just really want to say thank you. If you watched all the way to the end of this video and thank you for just liking and subscribing and commenting down below like in response to this or any suggestions for future videos make sure that um oh crap i lost what you thought i don't remember what i was gonna say but just genuine genuinely i thank you for subscribing to this channel and rocking out with your girl i look forward to getting to know you more as you get to know me more through my videos and um yeah just don't ever forget that there is only one you so be the best you you can be okay i will see you all in my next video bye